Hi Notion is. This is just going to be a short video today, uh, but I'm really excited to share this new app that I found called Hypersonic, which lets you manage your Notion tasks from your keyboard wherever you are on your Mac. So you don't even have to have Notion open in order to access your task list and update it when you have Hypersonic set up. We're going to be using an app called Raycast uh, to access Hypersonic and then Hypersonic to access our Notion Tasks database, which sounds a little bit clunky to set up, but it's actually pretty straightforward. I've shared a link to this Notion page in the description for this video, so you can just follow the three steps that are listed here in order to get set up. And basically, first of all, you need to download Raycast. Uh, and to give you a little bit of background, Raycast is basically an app that replaces your Spotlight search on your Mac, but you will use Raycast a lot more than you've ever used Spotlight search once you've got it set up. I use it for things like currency conversion, starting Zoom meetings instantly, inserting text snippets, sharing my Canonly links, and lots more as well. And basically, uh, it looks a little bit like this, and it just allows you to uh, search for whatever functionality you want to be using at that particular moment in time, and then run it uh, from your keyboard without any clicks at all, which is obviously pretty handy for things like managing tasks as well. So, once you've downloaded Raycast, you'll be ready to install Hypersonic from Raycast Store. So, we can do that by searching for Store and then Hypersonic. And it was the top result right there. I guess it might be trending as well at the moment. Uh, so, you can just follow the instructions to install this extension. And basically, uh, once you've got it downloaded and connected up with your Notion database, by following the prompts that Hypersonic will show you as part of the installation process, you will be ready to go. So how does this look on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, we can start by uh, working my way through my task list here. So we'll add a task and we'll call that task one. That's actually gonna show up at the bottom of my task list there but we can uh, move that to the top if we want to or up and down the list uh, by holding shift and then using the arrow keys on my keyboard and if we want to add a label to our task then we can just use command L and select the labels that we've got configured and this is actually pulling from the labels in our Notion Tasks database. So we'll label that one business and that's in the right spot on our list now. So if we want to open up Hypersonic in Notion and actually view that in full screen, uh, that particular task, then we can just hit Command O uh, to open it. Um, this is actually opened in my browser rather than the Notion app uh, because I've changed that setting in my preferences for the extension. And here's our task. Pretty straightforward database. We've got label, date, done. Uh, nice and easy to work with, but obviously you can add additional properties to this database once you've downloaded it. And if we look at the hypersonic uh, database itself, then this is our, uh, we've got a few different lists which come as part of the hypersonic notion template. So there's an agenda view, uh, a journal view for looking back on completed tasks. I've hidden mine uh, because uh, most of my tasks in here are a little bit personal. Um, we've got a board view which shows you a breakdown of your task by uh, based on the different labels that you're working with, calendar view and a database view there as well. And if we customize the labels that are configured in this property, then we can add more labels and Hypersonic will allow the, us to choose from those whenever we're adding tasks in the future. Basically, that's it. Uh, you can go through, manage your tasks nice and easily from your keyboard wherever you are. Um, if you want to keep on adding additional tasks, we can add task two there. And we can bump that to the top of our task list as well. We can add a label again. I'll call that one personal. And if we want to mark the task as completed, it's as easy as hitting return on our keyboard. We can undo uh, marking it as completed if we want to. 
and as you will have seen in the background there although hypersonic was in the way a little bit that's instantly ticked our task off our to-do list if we've marked all of our tasks as complete so we can just go through the list like that then you win an award as well so that's a nice extra incentive for completing all of your tasks i've only done that twice which is why that's my second token and that's basically it when it comes to working with the app if you want to uh, configure the app at all you can go to the extension settings and if we've renamed the database at all uh, we would put the new label in there so that hypersonic knows what to look for same goes for the title date checkbox and select property label and this is where I change my preferences to open links to my Notion tasks in my browser rather than the desktop Notion app. And that's basically it. So I really hope this extension comes in handy for you. Let me know how you use it and feel free to add comments if you have any questions. I will, of course, be sharing more apps like this in the future. I have a feeling that lots more people are going to build apps that make managing processes like this uh, a little bit easier than it would be working in a Notion database, for example, which can be slightly clunky now that the API is available. So I'll be sharing those with you in the future whenever I come across them.